Hello everyone, my name is Jay and I will be your instructor for this topic. Now that we have learned the essentials of Python, namely numbers and how to perform calculations on them, let's move on to input and output operations in Python. In this topic, we will learn how to receive data from our users as well as sending data to them. So, what is I.O.? I.O. is a fancy way of saying input and output. To keep things simple, it refers to the communication link between your program and your user. Basically, your program needs a way to communicate with the outside world, and I.O. is the key. Let's move on to input. We all know what does input mean, but how do we actually receive inputs from our users? through our Python program. We will use the input function to prompt the user for something. Let's take a look at the code here. We are calling the input function and passing a parameter of what we are printing, and in this case, what is your name. Next, we will assign it to a variable. The moment when we hit enter, assuming if we are running this in the Python terminal, we will be prompted for something together with our question. The next thing that we need to know is that whenever we call the input function, the result of that always refers to a string, a data type which we will learn in the next topic. If we are thinking of using numerical op operations such as addition, subtraction and so forth on the result, we will need to convert the input from a string to a number, namely integer, using the int function. Take a look at the snippet shown here. In the third statement, we are calling the int function on each, and that converts a string to an integer. What about sending data to our users? For that, we will use the print function. Note that the parentheses after the print statement is required because we are using Python 3. If we are using Python 2, those can be omitted. There are two ways in which we can use the print method. The first one is by using the plus sign, also known as string concatenation. Here, we join two strings together to form one string. The second one is by passing in parameters to the print function. Python has a built-in function which allows us to automatically combine all the parameters together by adding a space in between. The third example shown involves only two step, only two parameters but we can extend this to more than that. That's all for now. This is the end of the video. Hope you are enjoying it.